Hey there, I'm Steve Brook. I'm the senior minister at Legacy Christian Church, and I'm here with my good friends, Jerry and Joan Borton of Luke 14 Exchange. It is a great ministry. I know that you want to know more about it. And so, Jerry, you got to tell us, what? why did you create Luke 14 Exchange? Well, Steve Brook, let me tell you, Joan and I have been involved in this sport of ministry for close to 40 years, and uh I grew up in the church, I've been involved in ministry, I've been involved in disability advocacy, and a lot of times I'd be in places where I was the only guy in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. And I just started thinking, there are other people with disabilities who have a lot more talent than I do. The church, the world needs those gifts. So what we want to do is we're putting together a mentoring program where we're helping people with disabilities learn first Whose they are. Because once we understand who we are in Christ, that gives us the spiritual foundation to be able to work through the obstacles of figuring out what our gifts are and how God wants to use them. So that, that was a big emphasis, but that's only part of it. Well, because for every person with a disability that we might have the opportunity to work with, there are probably three, four, six family members mm. who are feeling kind of a little bit unsure of where is their place, the disability affects everyone, what do they need? So my heart breaks for caregivers and family members who feel left behind or unnoticed. And so I want to let those caregivers know that we see them, we hear them, and that they have a place to belong. We'll pray with them, we'll listen to them, and work mm -hmm. through their issues. So we work with caregivers. And then we also want to help churches. Most churches don't have very many people with disabilities in them. And it's not because people don't want to come. It's because people just don't know how to interact. Right. It just feels unfamiliar. So we want to help churches and businesses mm -hmm. learn how they can relate to people with disabilities. Well, I absolutely love this concept. I love this ministry. Uh, and Luke 14 Exchange, as a name, what does that mean? Sure. Um, it comes from the story of the great banquet in the 14. I think it's verses 15 to 24. Right. And if you, do you know the story? The, the banquet master sends out the invitation the whole town. You know, we're going to have the banquet. It's going to be great. People RSVP. When they come out again to the banquet's ready, everybody makes excuses. So the banquet master said, Go out to the highways and the byways, find the lane to pour the wine, and to probably come in, bring them to the table. We mm -hmm. think, we think that the church is full, only when it includes everybody. So that's that was a big part of it. Right. So that's the Luke fourteen <laughs> part, and the exchange comes in in what we want to see happen with every person God gives us the opportunity to minister with. First, we want them to exchange relationship. Perhaps, a re not every person with a disability doesn't know Christ, but many don't. And so we want for people who don't know who Jesus Christ is to exchange a life that does not include him for a life found in the Savior. Secondly, we want to help people find community because often people feel very isolated in their lives with disability. So we want to help people exchange that life of isolation for a life in community. And what better place than in the church, mm. right? And then the last one is we want to help people find their purpose. And so often people with disabilities say, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing with my life. I just sit home. And so we want to help people exchange that life with no purpose or at least little expectation or purpose um, for a life that's full because Jesus says he came to give us life and life abundantly. That is brilliant, Joan. I, I, if, now, if you had to really boil it all down, what would you say are the top three things that Luke 14 Exchange does? Okay, the first one would be that we mentor and coach people affected by disability wherever they're at to help them move to the next step. Secondly, we do come alongside families to encourage them, to support them, to help them find a place to belong. And then the third one is, again, that we work with the churches or Christian businesses or Christian community groups who want to be able to say, hey, we're not missing or we are missing a part of our group. We want some people with disabilities to be a part of our lives, too.
That's great, Joan. We are we are just so encouraged by this ministry and all that it does. And so, Jerry, you got to tell us what are some of the ways that the rest of us, us normal people, right? The rest of us can get in there and help in this ministry called Luke 14 Exchange. Um, the first word is to pray. And I know that everybody's thinking, well, of course, this is the first thing on the list. We really believe this ministry happens because of the grace of God. So the more people we are praying, the better. And also, as you pray, you will start to see people with disabilities in your, while you work in your neighborhood. So that's number one. Second is there's all kinds of volunteer opportunities. I like people that come in to just uh, type or like dictate. We have people that come in and help with filing. We can use help with if you get bookkeeping skills. If you are an event planner, we can use your help there. Probably if you have a gift and you are passionate about people with disabilities, we can help you use that gift in the ministry. The third way to be involved is through finances that give into the ministry. Uh, the ministry of Luke 14 Exchange only happens because people see yeah. us as their missionary people with disabilities. Um, there's a number that's been rolling around in my head of what I think God wants to like us to raise or attempt to raise, and it's $50,000. Um, here's the deal, whether you give a dollar a day, or a dollar, or you give $40,000, we're going to be grateful and thankful, and we're going to be the best stewards we can be so that your dollar reaches as many people affected with disability as possible. You can contact us at our website, www. Luke 1 4 exchange.org. That website has the information. If you want to give, if you want to ask a question, if you want to serve or if your family is affected by disability and you don't know what you need, definitely give us a call. We want to reach out to you. And thank you, Advance, for your gift. And thank you for the time you've given us to listen to our story. Thanks a lot. Fantastic. Well, we absolutely cherish this time together with you and hearing your story and seeing this ministry. Um, we just so appreciate your hearts for the Lord, your heart for the people, and your heart for His church, and uh, bringing it all together so that there's access. Access to the gospel. Access to the love of the Lord, the access to one another and being together. I just can't tell you how much that means to um, all of us. And so we're just praying for you and for your ministry. And we're so thankful for everything that God's doing through you.